Other news now. New at 11, relief at Howard University tonight after police say that they've caught the man who murdered an honors student. Omar Sykes was shot and killed near the intersection of Georgia and Fairmont Avenues, just a block from campus on the 4th of July. Roz Plater is live near that scene tonight. She's got reaction from students and investigators. Roz? Leon, this was a promising young man who had already made something of an impact. We have learned tonight that Mayor Vincent Gray has already sent to the city council legislation to rename a portion of Fairmont Street here in honor of Omar Sykes. And this is the street where Omar Sykes lost his life. On the campus of Howard University, there is some sense of relief that a suspect is in custody in the murder of 22-year-old Omar Sykes, who was a junior marketing major with a bright future. It doesn't bring him back, so my heart goes out to his family, but at least they don't feel like that there's no sense of kind of justice. The night of July 4th, police say Sykes and a friend were walking in the 700 block of Fairmont Street, headed home. Two men tried to rob them. One shot and killed Sykes. Police have identified the suspected shooter as 26 year old Raz David Lagarde of Northeast DC. I'm happy that there's one less person out on the streets um, that we have to deal with taking lives of innocent young men who are just trying to make this world a better place. Investigators worked night and day on the case, which had sparked fear in the university family. It happened just a block off campus. There's nothing more innocent than to send your child off to, for a college education uh, and have them killed in the streets of the District of Columbia. We hope that this arrest, in some measure, uh, will bring some closure in this case. At a memorial service back in July, Sykes' family spoke of how proud they were of him. We advised him when he asked for advice, and he watched him blossom into the gorgeous young man we all knew. Police are still looking for one more suspect in this case. The man in custody faces first-degree murder charges and has his first court appearance tomorrow. We're live in Northwest D.C. I'm Ross Plater, ABC 7 News.